Before we begin our project today, I wanna to talk about electrical circuits. We have two types of circuits, series and parallel. An easy way to think of electricity is to think of water flowing through pipes. In a series circuit, there is only one line that runs the electricity and everything can hook in to that one line. In a parallel circuit, there is more than one path for the electricity to flow. In our project today, we are going to build a parallel circuit. Today we are going to use copper tape for our project. Copper tape is just like copper wire, only um, electricity only works on one side, the copper side. The sticky side will not conduct electricity. So back to our water pipe example. Do you see the break in it? If there is a break and a leak, the water does not reach um, the end of the pipe and pour out. It's going to come through the break. It is, same, it is the same way with electricity. If there is a break in the copper wire, the electricity will not get to where it needs to go. It stops right there where that break is. That is called an open circuit. Here's an example of a circuit using the copper tape. Do you see the break there? Sometimes you don't have a long enough piece or you need to change directions and so you will have to cut a piece of the tape. So in order to make it close the circuit, you need to fold it over um, so the copper touches the copper. And then you can use a piece of regular tape to tape that down and make sure that they continue to touch. When everything is touching and it all works, that is what we call a closed circuit. When you build your circuit today, you will have two paths that do not touch. You have a positive side and a negative side. This is how we build our parallel circuit and where the LEDs come in. The LED wires will connect the two paths to make a closed circuit. Your LEDs have two wires. There's a long side and a short side. The longer wire is considered positive, so it must touch the positive copper wire to uh, make sure it lights up. The battery is where your power comes from. It also has a positive and negative side. When batteries are used, it is called DC current. When you plug into a wall socket, that is where your AC current comes from. We are using DC current. If you need to troubleshoot your circuit, use your finger to follow the path of tape that you laid down. And if you find a break, then you need to press it down. Also press everything down, make sure all your wires are touching everything to make sure you have a good enclosed circuit. Today we are going to make a paper circuit constellation. These are the supplies provided by the library. Here are some things you will need from home. Start by punching holes through the stars in the constellation you want to light up using a push pin. You can use a pencil to enlarge the holes slightly. Now we are going to draw the lines that mark where our copper tape is going to be placed. This is also the path of electricity through our project. Attach copper foil tape to the paper. Do this by removing the backing on the tape to expose the sticky side. Follow the pencil lines. Remember when turning corners or attaching a new piece of tape to the adhesive is not conductive, so you must fold over the copper foil so copper is touching copper. Place tape on all of the lines.
test your battery to see if it is working. Determine which line of the copper tape you want to be positive and which you want to be negative. Mark on the paper. The long leg will be attached to the positive line of tape and the short leg will be attached to the negative line of tape. From the front, push the legs of your LED through the cardstock. Spread the legs of the LED and attach to the copper foil with tape. Make sure that the positive and negative legs are attached to the correct line of paper. Do this for all of the LED lights. Now we can attach the battery. Make sure the positive side of the battery is touching the positive lines of copper tape. Fold the corner so the positive and negative sides of the battery are touching the positive and negative lines of copper tape at the same time. Use a binder clip to hold in place. You can do this step before attaching all of your LEDs to make sure that they are working while attaching them. That is your finished project. Hope you enjoyed.